I feel like everyone's gonna be like, whoa, what is this place you're in? Narnia? No, not Narnia. Close to it though, but no. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Let's just get into today's video. I'm gonna be doing the throwback tag, I believe. Look at my big ass phone. <laughs> Literally bigger than my head. I have little hands too, so it's like impossible to use. But it's great. So if you don't already know by now, I absolutely love anything throwback, anything to remind me of my childhood, anything to remind me of like, oh. If you don't already follow my Spotify cast sesame, and have listened to my hot fire throwback music. Don't know what you're doing with your life, but yeah. Okay, question number one. What year were you born? I was born in 1996. Do you have any pictures of yourself when you were younger? If you do, show them. I have a few, so I'll put them all over the screen. That was me as a kid. I feel like I literally haven't changed. <laughs> Question number three. What TV shows did you grow up watching? Hands down, my favorite TV show when I was younger, I'd race home from school to watch it, wake up early in the morning to watch it, was Arthur. Like, not even gonna lie, sometimes I still find videos of it on YouTube and I'll watch an episode. Question four. What do you wanna be when you grow up and do you still wanna be that? This is gonna be the most randomest thing ever, but I want to be a taxi driver. Mm. I don't know why. I think it was because like I liked how they were like able to listen to their radio and listen to whatever songs they wanted to listen to and just like drive around and like I don't know. Do I still want to be a taxi driver? Probably not. If this doesn't work out, might be a taxi driver one day. Question five is show a video of yourself when you're younger. I don't have any videos on myself like here to show you guys. I'm pretty sure my mum's packed up like everything and it's like in storage. But yeah, I don't have any videos. Terribly sorry. Question six. What were your favourite toys to play with? My favourite toys were like Barbie dolls, Bratz dolls, Polly Pockets. I remember I used to like think I was like a hairdresser. And I, I don't know. I must have thought like my Barbie dolls hairs will grow back. Because I remember cutting this girl who looked who looked like a girl from Home and Away, Tasman Stoke, Stroke, I think that's her real name. But my Barbie doll looked exactly like her and she was my favourite on Home and Away. And I went and cut her hair and then I cut my own hair. And then I hid it behind the lounge and then my mum found it one day and asked if it was my hair. I was like, no, but I had like, my hair was cut. Obviously it was my hair. Question seven, what is the most embarrassing thing that you remember doing? I don't really remember like much. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I was like hit on the head and like I forgot everything. But I remember like once I was shopping with like my mum and dad and I was like walking ahead of them I guess. And I was just like walking. They must have stopped. I was still walking. They just saw that I was walking. And then I think I thought my dad was next to me so I'll go and grab like this man's hand. I look up. It ain't my dad. So yeah. That was a bit embarrassing for like I don't know, four-year-old Cass. Read something you wrote when you were in kindergarten. I don't have a like with me, as I said, like everything's pretty much in storage. I had the Facebook memories come up and I must have been like going through like my old like diary or school books or something. And I remember writing something like a girl broke like my, which break? What did that girl break? Who was that girl? So I wrote like, some girl today broke my highlighter. I went to the bathroom and cried. I just wanted my mummy. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I was in kindergarten or like, I was probably in year six. I was very sensitive. Number nine is three songs you love to listen to as a child. The first one is a classic. Thank you, Webster. Such a banger. Life is easy if 
academic like class myself as a child until I turned a teenager. That's yeah, that's a child until you're a teenager. Oh god, I'm so dumb. I was like two years too late, but. I feel like I just have that many throwback songs. I feel like I should do a video just on throwback songs. So if you guys ever want to like see that or like just jam out with me together, let me know because honestly, I think that'll be the best video I'll ever make in my life. This is the last one. I'm pretty sure this came out when I was still a child. Oh, I still listen to this song all the time when I pre-drink. You got it. Ready? Such a gem. Question 10 is what was one thing you dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger. I'm from Australia. We don't really celebrate Halloween like kids don't go trick-or-treating. I remember once a boy in my street went trick-or-treating and I wasn't like allowed to go. This was when I was like little, like he went to my school. And I remember he went trick-or-treating and he knocked on our door and there's me in bed. Like, what were you doing, mom? Rude. Tell a funny story of something you remember happening when you were young. Don't know if, you know when you like think something happened? Maybe I dreamt it when I was little, I don't know. But I remember like, I don't know, I was eating a mango or something and then I just started like smearing it on the walls. Also, this actually happened because it's implanted in my brain forever. I went to a boy's house who lived in my street just for like a play date, you know? And he had a dog like Coco, like the dog I have now. I was terrified of it. I used to be terrified of dogs, terrified. And like when I'd go over there, I'd have to like kind of like put the dog either outside or like in the laundry or somewhere. And I remember once it kind of escaped and we're like drawing and coloring in and the dog came and like came up to me and I was like, ah! with my pencil up their wall. And it was a cute little dog like Coco, like what was I doing? Don't know. We have focus styles. Are there any special things you kept from when you were a child? Probably, but like I said, everything's in storage. My mum probably kept like my first tooth or something that I lost, like I don't know. What was something weird you used to do as a child? Um, I don't know, because I'm weird anyway. Something weird I used to do when I was a child. Probably. I remember there's this one photo and I'm pretty sure I'm trying to open like a wine bottle so I was probably an alcoholic then so some things never change. Question 14 what's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? I used to be scared of like ambulances and fire brigades and stuff and once an ambulance came to my house because my uncle was sick and I remember I was panicking that like I ran outside and our house is like made out of bricks so as I was like running, I was, I, I don't know, I turned and I went bang into the bricks. So I have a bit of a scar, but like, I don't know, my skull has a dent in it. And I had to get like stitches and everything from the ambulance people, the people who I, run, I were running away from. So yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure when I was younger, this is creepy AF. I was like, I woke up in the middle of the night and like my bedroom door was like a little bit open and I'm in my cot and I like stand up and then all of a sudden I see like this shadow walk past and like, so my room when I was little used to be near our back door and so I saw this shadow walk past like towards the back door but I didn't hear the back door open, like I saw someone walk past, 
like I had saying it's a ghost or anything, but saw something will pass. So then I like did that like fake pretend you're sleeping thing. So yeah. So I was like awake. I was little. I was like <laughs> Question 15, the lucky last question. How is the world now different from how it was like when you were a child? Because I, I feel like kids now, they're really like into like social media and like, I don't know, some kids have phones. Like I didn't get my first phone until I was maybe in year six or year seven and it was a Roxy flip phone. But yeah, now I feel like kids have like iPhones, they have Instagram, they have all this. Like when I was, and like iPads and stuff, like when I was that age, I had like a Game Boy and then I upgraded a Game Boy to a Nintendo. But yeah, when I'd come home from school, like I'd literally like go next door, like hang out with like the kids in my street, ride our bikes, like play until dinner time. But yeah, I feel like that's kind of changed. And yeah, that's really all I think that's changed, I guess. And like, I feel like a kid, oh my God, I feel like kids these days look so much more older than they do now. I feel like I look young, like compared to some like 15, 16 year olds. So that's changed. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next video. Bye guys.